Our topic for today is interview questions and answer for electrical engineer. Interview tips for electrical engineer. Number one, practice and repeat. What's my video? Number two, get ready ahead of time. Number three, do not speak negatively about your previous employer. You need to research the company and look at their website. Be on time early, at least 30 minutes before the interview. Keep your answer concise and focus. Try to be calm and control your emotion and drink water first before you start. Bring copies of your resume, a notebook, and pen. Be prepared with a list of examples of your previous job. Follow up at the interview. Tell me something about yourself. Sample answer. I'm Robert, an innovative electrical engineer with 10 years experience and have solid foundations and circuitry and schematic design, PLC and HMI programming, electromechanical repairs and electromagnets. I have solid experience in electrical technologies, including digital and analog circuits, signal processing, and wireless network. I am skilled in using multimeters, oscilloscope, function generators, curb tracer, and LCR meters. Why did you decide to become an electrical engineer? Sample answer. Well, electrical engineering is one of the core courses of engineering discipline. Deals with study of design, development, and maintenance of electrical system and their components, ensuring quality, safety, and reliability. Sample answer number two. Because it's so cool, you cannot see electricity but our present day lives depends on it. You can communicate around the globe, see the moon during the night, see aircraft hundreds of miles away, control the pressure of your tire, but you cannot see the electricity, but you can feel the effect. Why do we hire you? Sample answer. Because I am innovative electrical engineers with experience in designing low voltage and medium voltage power system, I am project lead of multiple projects for different clients simultaneously. Aside from that, I have a solid experience in power system, short circuit analysis, arc flash study review, circuit breaker sizing, lighting plan, generator sizing, control system, HMI background or human machine interface, network interface, TCP IP, API, ANSI or American National Standard Institute, NEC National Electrical Code, NEMA National Electrical Manufacturing Administration, and NFPA. Can you tell me something about your previous job or something about your experience? Sample answers. I am a project lead for multiple projects. Direct and oversee vendor shop repair on high voltage motor and equipment to ensure quality. Execute equipment maintenance strategies and perform other duties or project as assigned within the budget. Provide technical assistance to field personals in the area of high voltage distribution equipment and high voltage motor generator. Why are you leaving your current job or previous job? Sample answer number one. My current job has been a great experience, but the growth is limited because the company is relatively small. I need to look somewhere like this company where this is opportunity to grow my career. Sample answer number two. I am ready for the next challenge in my career. I love the people I work with and the projects that I work on but at some point, I'm looking for a company where opportunity to grow my career. Have you ever had conflict with your superior or colleagues and how do you handle it? 
sample answers. I think everyone at some point had a conflict with their superior or colleagues. I'll just try to work with them whenever possible and stay away with conflicts as much as I could. Technical questions. If a DC motor is connected across an AC source, what will happen? Answers. Direct current flow is obstructed only by resistance, while AC current is obstructed by both resistance and inductive reactance. Therefore, when a DC motor is connected across an AC source, the current on AC will be less than the DC. The motor would run, but it would not carry the same load, and it will spark on the process. Explain the RLC circuit. Answer. RLC circuit, the most fundamental elements like resistor, inductor, and capacitor. This circuit is connected to an AC source. Then it continuously charges across the capacitor and discharges across the inductor. So to make the circuit stable, we use a resistor in the circuit to make the circuit. All of these elements are linear and passive in nature. What is motor generator set? Answer. A motor generator set is generator is driven with both devices mounted on the same plate or base. Sometimes DC motor is driving an alternator or AC motor driving a DC generator. Can you explain the difference between direct and alternating current? Answer. In alternating current, the voltage oscillates between a negative peak and a positive peak, technically known as crest and trough. The voltage of the system is rated by either the peak value or the RMS value. In a DC supply, the current is unidirectional and the voltage is fixed. It has only one positive and one negative terminal, like your car's battery, 12 volts. What is the square root of I? Answer, 1 over square root, open and close parenthesis 2, plus I over square root, open and close parenthesis 2. What is a thermocouple? Answer, a thermocouple consists of two dissimilar metals connected together at one point. When the heat is applied to the junction, a voltage will be generated. What is the difference between primary and secondary cell? Answer. Primary cell is a cell that produces electric current from an electromechanical reaction but is not capable of being recharged. While the secondary cell is a rechargeable electrical cell that converts chemical energy into electrical energy by a reversible chemical reaction, also called storage cell. What is voltage drop? Answer. Voltage drop or potential drop is the decrease of electrical potentials along the path of a current flowing in an electrical circuit. Of course, when the voltage at the end of the run of cable is lower than at the beginning. Eddy currents means current induced in the interior of the conducting masses by a variations of magnetic flux. What is open and short circuit? Answer. An open circuit is a break in the circuit or not having a complete fat for the flow of electric current, while short circuit is an accidental connection of negligible resistance joining two wires of different polarity of a circuit through which nearly all the current will flow. How many cells are there in a 12 volts car battery? and how they are connected. There are six cells in a car battery and they are connected in series. And each cells is two volts. If battery is connected in series, just add them equals 12 volts. What is half wave and full wave rectifier? Answer, in half wave rectifier, it passes only one half of an AC wave and the full wave rectifier passes both half of the AC waves. Will you be available to work overtime, shape change, swing shift, or grid shift? 
What is the frequency of a 4-pole alternator driven at 50 Hz? Answer, Ns equals 120 F over P. F stands for frequency. P stands for number of poles. Ns stands for synchronous speed. Ns equals 120 times 50 Hz over 4 equals 1,500 RPM. Do you familiar with any electrical tools? Name a few more electrical tools and how to use it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.